WordPress permalinks. What are permalinks? How should I set up my permalinks in my WordPress site? And how do I troubleshoot issues if I'm having them with permalinks? Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to change your permalink structure, a few permalink structures you might wanna choose depending on the type of content you create. And then I'm also gonna show you how to regenerate or rebuild the permalinks if you're having an issue with a new plugin you've installed or anything else, it's always a good go-to first step. Keep watching. So this is my WordPress demo site. I have not set up any custom permalinks yet, so first I'm gonna tell you what exactly a permalink is. The site already has content. If I go to the blog page, you'll see here in my browser bar, question mark page underscore ID equals 703. What the heck is that? You'll see here, question mark P equals 1915. This is the ID of that post or page in my WordPress site when I do not have pretty permalinks set up. So let's go and look at the options here. You'll probably see a lot of sites that either have a number or a date in this structure. They might have a prefix like slash blog. They might actually have the full slug or some keyword driven slug for the post. So where is this set up in WordPress? If you navigate to your dashboard and go to settings, permalinks. So WordPress itself comes with several built-in permalink structures. The plain permalinks is what you see on the site right now, question mark P with the ID of that object. You can also set it up to use the post slug like this sample post here, but prefix it with the date and name, the month name. You could have it still keep the ID of the post, but prefix it with something like archives. Uh, you can do this version, which is probably the most common where you just show the post name. And then you can also set up a custom structure using some of these tags. So when and what would you choose for these different structures? So for me, most sites that I do, I set up with post name. I find that to be the best for SEO purposes. Google does look at the slug of a post and it wants to see is the keyword that this post is about identified in the slug. It also doesn't like super long slugs. So if you write blog posts that are very long post titles, you're probably custom crafting the SEO title for that post, but maybe you're not looking at custom crafting the post slug. So that's what you would set here. Honestly, I would say most sites are gonna wanna use post name unless you're very timely and your content is very date driven. So we're talking about news sites, stock market sites, things like that, where you do really want that date in the permalink structure. It helps people coming to your site instantly know when is this published, is this current, or is it outdated? That's like the general overview of permalinks. Now I'm gonna show you how to set a custom permalink or post slug on content in your site. So once you have that set up that you're gonna use your post name in the slug or in the permalink, I'm gonna pop over here to my all posts and edit a post. So this is a WordPress block editor, depending on if you're using Classic Press or another page builder, this experience might be slightly different but you wanna look for something like this. This is that URL. And if you click into that, WordPress brings up a modal that lets you change the slug. So for this one, let's say we just wanted to say, you know, dogs are good. And you can change that structure and click update. So now we went from having that super long uh, URL structure to just something really brief, really to the point, targeted about what this article is about, which is gibberish because it's a uh, doggo ipsum. But even so on your site, that would be how you'd make that edit. The last thing I wanna show you in this tutorial is how to rebuild the permalinks, how to save them and regenerate them if you're having problems accessing certain content on your site that you think should be accessible. So this is a good first line attack. If you've installed a new plugin that adds like a custom post type or something else in the site, I'm gonna show you how to do it with our member directory add-on because that's a front end directory that adds profile pages that does show like a structured permalink. So it's a good way to get this to trigger for the demo here. So in your WordPress site, I'm just gonna install quickly and set up that directory feature. There it is, install and activate. Cool, so this relies on some pages. Let's just generate them. One for the front end page and one for the, there. Okay, so let's view this directory page. Now what should happen is when I click on somebody in the directory, it should show me their profile. You'll see here that pretty permalink structure, but I'm getting a, oops, that page cannot be found. So what do you do? If you get a page not found, the URL looks right, you think that it should exist in your site. Just go back to settings, permalinks, don't change anything there and click save changes. And when I go back to the site, I'm able to pull it up. So we saw that one user, let's go back here go to someone else and we'll show you how all these profile pages still work. So really you're gonna hit like what's called a 404 page. You can't find the content, oops. 
go into settings, permalinks, and save changes. That'll flush the permalinks, rebuild it for you, and often those problems resolve instantly. Thanks for watching this tutorial. It was a little broadly WordPress focused, but it does have an impact for membership sites. So we wanted to make sure that we had the best content for you about rebuilding permalinks, generating permalinks, and anything related to that for your WordPress site. I'm Kim Coleman. Have a great day. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to keep watching tutorials like this. Thanks so much.